Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fish in the Midwest. In today's video, I've got a quick lure review for you guys. About a couple weeks ago, before I left for Vilas County, Wisconsin, to fish with Sam and Perrick, I was asked to review some plastics. I had won a small contest on Instagram, run by TMB Custom Worms, and it's a smaller company. They make a bunch of different types of hand boards and injected plastics, and I had won an assortment pack of lures, but the one that I tested out when I was in Vilas County, Wisconsin, were these little drop shot worms and the owner asked me to give them an honest opinion you know this wasn't like a sponsorship deal it wasn't like he was giving me free baits or like that i won the contest and he wanted me to try them out and give him my personal opinion of this bait so i picked out one day to fish these you know these smallmouth in here they've seen a lot it's kind of a tricky place to fish and you need a good worm right out of the package i knew this was probably going to be a, a winner you know I, I knew that they were definitely going to be able to key on it but my next question was how durable is it and what's it going to look like in the water. I thought that the durability was fairly good for a soft drop shot worm like this and the action looked pretty good in the water for such a small worm. This is about a three inch size I believe. There's no specific color or name of this bait but it's basically a three inch drop shot, fathead drop shot worm by TMB Customs. So I tried this out, fished with it, caught about I'd say five or six smallmouth at the end of the day and did pretty successful with this worm. So in this video that you're about to see I'm going to show you a few catches of this bait and give you my overall personal opinion of this worm. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I got smoked, dude. I think he's still on it. There he is, yep. Nice one. Decent. No, it's the camera's rolling. Freaking smoked. Nice one on the TMB. Choked it too, look at that. My overall opinion of this worm after fishing it for a day in Wisconsin was that it's a pretty good drop shot worm. I'm very particular, I'm a huge finesse guy, I'm a drop shot head, I love throwing finesse rigs, especially a drop shot. And this worm performed very well on that rig. Now I can't say it's my favorite drop shot worm, but it's definitely one of those ones that I'll come back to, mainly because of the durability. It's hard to find a good, soft, lifelike action drop shot worm with a with a durable plastic and you know it's not going to last you forever but it lasted me about four or five smallmouth bass you know we're talking about smallmouth here that do a lot of head thrashes do a lot of shaking around and like to spit the worm and the hook the color they were hitting on was similar to this one right here it's kind of like a root beer with black and red flake real good color on natural bottom lakes with a lot of rat rock and light colored stone but all I was doing was throwing this on a short leader drop shot, not like this one, it was about a foot leader instead of a two foot. And I was using very small hooks and I was just nose hooking it. And that bait quivers perfectly in the water. There's one, oh my God. Yeah, it's a good one, dude. It's a real nice one. Oh my God. Dude, freaking drag, yeah, seriously. Good call. Eight pound test, but it's frayed, so it feels like freaking two pound. Oh my, oh my god, dude. Here, get her. Ooh. Nice two pounder. Digging, man. Look at that fish. Wisco Smallies, man. Just beautiful. Catch them like this all day. It doesn't matter what they're hitting, man. I just love it. Yeah, that was on the TV. We found just like this one little spot, same area where Dyson Perrick caught his. There's that little worm. It's a cool little drop shot style worm. They're catching them on the wacky. I mean, I'm tempted to switch to it, but I just have a lot of confidence in the drop shot. Nice, like two and three quarters, just real thick fish. 